Hello friends, I'm very excited today to present you my new templates for quilting feathers. But now it's made specially for your domestic quilting machine. I got so many requests about the template I made for long arm and unfortunately people were not able to use that much on their domestic machine because it was pretty big and thick and some machines are low shank machines and they needed uh, thinner templates so time has come and now finally I have special templates for a domestic machine and I have both uh, for low shank and high shank so this is for low shank and this one is just one eighth of an inch thick compare it to this one this orange one is for a high shank and it's a quarter of an inch thing, uh, shank. Uh, so it would be wonderful for your long arm machine if you would like to manipulate with a smaller shape, not with the, all three feathers in one, or your, for your high shank machine. I make both in both colors. So you may get a low shank in both blue color and orange color and the same for this one so when you'll be ordering those in my store make sure you choose the color and you choose the shank correctly so let's play with this a little bit uh, and i will show you first how to um, position your ruler and then we jump to a quilting part so let's first try with a simple straight line it will be our imaginary stem and I want to pay your attention that there are three sizes of the feather so let's go ahead with the middle one now okay with a medium so to quilt the feather shape you should always remember that your quilting foot will also eat a little bit of space so when you position your ruler you should keep that in mind and put your stem somewhere between here so to be sure that the needle will go here and follow the stem a little bit there are a few lines for you to position the ruler correctly you can position it like that can you see this I'm lining up this little helping line with my stem so then my machine will have have this little a quarter of an inch gap and will quilt here in this line perfectly repeating this line so I, now I will just slide it back because I'm drawing but when you quilt keep that in mind so my first feather shape your machine will come to this point when you quilt it so you quilt your first line then travel up to this point where your feather and your stem meet again it's very flexible you will find your own perfect way how to quilt that and then the important step comes you slide your template up keeping that line up here with the stem and making sure that your next shape, next feather meets the previous one. So you will visualize how round and how thick your next feather is going to be. And you go ahead and quilt the next one. Hold your ruler do not move it and travel back just a little bit to the point where you want your next feather touch with this one again we leave our machine needle down here slide the template up and quilt the next one travel up where the stem and feather meet slide the template Quilt, travel back, needle down, slide the template, and quilt another one. So when you're done with one side, you may just cut your thread here, or if it's not too far to travel back, 
just travel back following this line you've already created. Then you just simply flip your template over and do the same thing with your other side of the stem. One and travel up, slide the template and here you go. This is the simplest way to fill out the narrow border, the sashing, any block, any rectangular shape straight feather you may go ahead and play with it and add some more with free motion if you would like to do so so a lot of different things you could do with this perfectly quilted feather next jump to the next one what if we want a natural looking feather more complicated so we just draw a curvy line, a curvy stem. And here is when we will need all three of our sizes to make this feather more flowing. So here, the tricky part is how to line up the template and not to cross your stem. You should remember that it's a pretty flexible shape and you could start and stop in any point you want any point you feel comfortable so here in my case I will just start from the stem positioning my feather the way I think it would look accurate and neat so I quilt my first shape yet yeah, on with the machine I would come here to this point I travel up slide my template, position it that way so I can safely travel along the edge. Then the technique is the same. You simply travel back to the point you want the feathers to meet. Just pay attention to what, what's going on here. You would like to quilt to the point where you touch your stem. It could be different spot like now I'm going to curl it a little bit and just leave the starting point point right here and that's why I also recommend to draw your stem not to quilt it so if you make a little mistake like I did right now it wouldn't be a big deal it would just be a feather of that shape okay so on the next side uh, Let's do something smaller, like this one, and then you travel up and make your feather playful, so you rotate it and up. It's a very creative process. You could make any kind of feather you'd like to and I really recommend to draw first and to feel the movement so when you're comfortable with that with drawing you will just jump to quilting and would get really beautiful result well something like that this one is pretty fat because I quilted the whole shape you could play with it and make it narrow so it's pretty flexible and lots of ways to quilt it with the single template oh I would love to see how you quilt it and how you play with this template so show me in comments send me pictures I'm always excited to see what you do and finally um, what about just playing with the feather shape and make something like paisley so you quilt a big one for yourself it will be your guide and then you just go and add more fun stuff around it with echoing throw more inside 
and when you're done with one shape you go and quilt another so the idea is that you use the larger template as your neat base for something free motion and cool you could try the all over designs with it or maybe just simply filling the blocks well again everything is up to you and depends on what you want to do let's get to quilting part and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask me in comments or in messages i'm always always happy to help you guys <music> 